everyone, it's Brenda Riches from RunForfit.com and today I'm going to be doing a brief forefoot running shoe review on the Trail Minimalist Running Shoe, the Vibram Five Fingers V Trail, which is built for running on treacherous trail terrain in cold winter weather. The Vibram Five Fingers V Trail is basically a continuation of the Vibram Five Fingers Speed Reden MR and the Speed Reden Elite Trail Minimalist Running Shoe, but the Vibram V Trail's construction is very focused on handling slick and muddy surfaces during cooler temperatures. In my opinion, running on uneven grounds in the traditional running shoe, which are running shoes that are very thickly cushioned and are very stiff, is hard to do because it's difficult to feel the ground in traditional footwear as you have less sensory leverage, which may lead to greater balance and stability, especially if you're a new runner. This is why traditional running shoes is not the best biomechanical guide or biomechanical barometer for helping you maintain good in safe running form. This is also why minimalist running shoes are very instrumental at helping runners avoid injuries, especially for trail running, because minimalist running shoes help you better evaluate your footstep position. If you don't have good ground feel when trail running, you are essentially on the brink of an ankle sprain waiting to happen if you're not careful. That's why you need a running shoe that helps you integrate sensory information so you are able to have next to none biomechanical challenges. Trail running and minimalist running shoes like the Vibram V Trail is better for me when I'm running the trails because these shoes really helps me run more graciously, more safely. They make trail running less exhausting, basically by encouraging a more efficient style of running, which is a forefoot strike running style. Because the thin rubber outsole allows for more sensory detail at the bottom of the foot as compared to the traditional running shoe. For me, I'm a runner who has to really feel the ground because there is a cost for if I don't, and I think this is the case for many runners. One of the features I really appreciate about the Vibram Five Fingers V Trails is that the outsole is only five millimeters thick, which is pretty thin. The outsole is comparable to the outsole of the Vibram Five Fingers Speed Reading MR Elites. The Vibram V Trails outsole is thinner than the Vibram Five Fingers KMD Evo. So the Vibram V Trails is one of Vibram's thinner trail running shoes. In addition, the Vibram V Trail has a built-in two millimeter thin EVA insole. So there's essentially a total of seven millimeter of underfoot protection in the Vibram Five Fingers V Trail, which is still cushy than the average Vibram running shoe. It's more cushy than the sock was, but nothing close to the traditional running shoe, meaning that you are better off running in the Vibram V trails as compared to running in more traditional running shoes that are overly cushioned and incredibly inflexible. Getting back to the outsole of the Vibram V trails, the greatest rock protection of the shoes is concentrated on the forefoot. So the Vibram V trails gives you the vast amount of protection on the forefoot when running on stone littered trails. The Vibram V trails durability makes it great for obstacle course races as well. So if you do a lot of Spartan races, if you do a lot of mud runs, Tough Mudders, Warrior Dashes, then the Vibram Five Fingers V Trail you might really want to consider. Depending on the size of the Vibram V Trail, the shoe is relatively light. It weighs in at about 6.4 to 6.7 ounces, which is the classic weight of a good minimalist running shoe. The upper is made out of a polyester and spandex blend, so you don't need to grapple with fitting the shoe if you have wide feet. The upper of the V Trail gives plenty of stretch, which is great for if you have a bunion. The outsole and the upper is super flexible, which provides an adaptive fit to your foot. So the flexibility of the shoe really works and collaborates very well with your unique foot structure. Overall, I'm always looking for ways to help runners improve their foot health and their overall biomechanics. That's why I wanted to introduce to you the Vibram Five Fingers V Trail. So I hope you found this brief review of the shoe helpful and useful. It's been very convincingly shown that when a runner can feel the ground, they make encouraging progress with their running form and that they're more likely to land with a forefoot strike landing style. And running in this way gives you more opportunities to perform well. And one of the best things you can do to achieve this style of running is by running in barefoot inspired running shoes like the Vibram Five Fingers, especially if you don't wanna run barefoot. So why ignore any solution that may work for improving your foot health? And if you look at the data 
It's more clear that when the feet can participate fully, like they are able to when they're in a minimalist shoe, the faster they become stronger, which will help prepare you to be an injury-free runner. And this is why I think the Vibram running shoes are more relevant than traditional running shoes at creating a foot that is dynamic and strong. If you've also ran in the Vibram Five Finger V trails, I'd love to know what you think about them. So please leave a comment below and share your Vibram experience. If you've enjoyed this review, you'll enjoy my other reviews on barefoot like footwear for forefoot running on my blog runforefoot.com and please subscribe to my youtube channel for more detailed shoe reviews as well as what research is saying regarding forefoot running versus heel strike running thanks so much for listening and watching have fun out there on the roads bye for now